Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my Astroneer tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making and using beacons um, or beacon because we're just going to make one but I want to show you the usefulness of the beacon, what it is and how it works. So let's go into our backpack because that's how you make a beacon and you'll see I've cycled through to Oop, the beacon. It uses one compound and then just click on the eye that has now created us a beacon so what is the purpose of the beacon? That is a beacon. Do you see that above our, our my space capsule? That little blue floating icon there? That is a beacon just like over here where it's saying about one of my corpses. So if I click on that corpse, there's nothing in it, so that will disappear, that beacon. But that should tell you when you die, it leaves a beacon behind for you to see your corpse. If you die again, though, the beacon will disappear. Or if the corpse is empty, the beacon will disappear. So these are beacons. Why would we want a beacon? Let's show you. So we're going to eventually have lots of tethers running away out of our base. So when we do a long tether line and we start to go around the planet and our base beacon is not visible anymore so let's demonstrate this by roaming a long way away so as you can see we can still see the beacon okay yeah for our base still visible so we're going to keep going this is where I was mining that mother load of com compound. Okay, we can still see it clearly. Let's now tether further. See if we can find more resources as well while we're at it. Okay, let's take a look behind us. Oh, we can still clearly see the base. Let's tether off in this direction. Oh, out of tethers, let's make some more. See, we can still just about see our base. Let's carry on. Okay, base, you can't see it anymore. So, if you're out wandering and for some reason you don't, you stop using tethers and you're just wandering around, you don't know where your base is anymore if you can't see tethers or the, the beacon for your base. So here's why you can use a beacon. What you do is you go into your backpack, pick it up, drop it down. Now, this is gonna create a new beacon. So what you can do is as you gradually spread across the planet, not only can you use tethers, but you can also use beacons to find your way back to your base because when you got to this beacon your tethers would start or if you move a little further you'll see your base so really 
What you should do is place your beacon within visible range or sight. So pick it up within vis visible sight of your base beacon. So your beacons are always spread where one beacon can see the next. And there we go. Now, providing, uh, so let's say you're out in your vehicle, your land vehicle, and you've driven miles and miles across the planet. Providing you keep beacons within range, you'll always find your way back. Of course, if you're using tethers, that'll be your way for finding your way back. Anyway, right, what's this over here that we've got? Resin, great. Let's grab a load of resin to put in our new storage. This is when it's really would be really cool to find uh, the yellow, the gold spots that you can see speckled on the ground sometimes. No, no power. Oh well, never mind. Let's just get as much as we can. I think that's it all. We've depleted that deposit. Yeah. Oh. Right, okay, so let's now head back. And we'll take a look at the beacon that we put down. So, looking from here, there you go. So the beacons really come into their own when you're using your land vehicle because you don't just want to drive off. This is a massive planet and you'll lose your base. See, there's the beacon. Oh, I can grab these resources now that I can put them... Um, have I got room? Yeah. Now that I've got some storage built... I can grab all of this. Okay, let's get head back and put what we got in storage. So that's for compound, this one can be for resin. Now what I'm doing is building up loads of resources so I can uh, make some more of the machines and stuff. Okay, right, so now I've got to get the uh, organic and copper so let's just place them in this storage for now organic can go on that side and the copper can go on that side okay let's go get some aluminium now I know that that direction with that beacon now is where the cave is with the copper and aluminium. So that's another use for it. Though it's only just over here. I was very lucky to have this cave so close. Oh look, there's a load still in the ceiling. I'll have to come out and get that. Oh, look at this, yeah, there's aluminium over there. What I'm gonna do is grab some power so we don't keep running out. Right, 
Right, that should be sufficient. Let's now go grab as much aluminium as we can. Okay, so we're going to need to tether down there. And we're going to need to make a path down. Oh, that's fuel as well. Nice. You'll get used to how steep you need slopes or how flat. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about the fuel. What I want is this, the laterite, aluminium. Ever. So easy to forget in this game, you get carried away, forget that you need oxygen, and before you know it, you're dead. Uh, let's put another tether because it's still dark. There we go, much better. Okay, let's get the rest of this. One thing to be very careful of, and I do mean very careful, when terraforming do, and you go into a deep hole, do not fill the dirt in over your head, you'll die, you'll suffocate. And what will happen is one nasty thing, so don't do it, don't go there. Always fill your holes in from a distance. Never stand in them and fill them in. Right, okay, so let's smooth that out because we don't want to leave a nasty hole in the cave I'll leave that bit of fuel visible but I don't want to leave a hole a nasty hole for me to fall in because being a fool I will fall in it right okay that's I think covered up enough. Let's see if we can get more aluminium. I do love exploring the caves. Now oh, there's a load of oxygen in the wall. Uh, but I can't see anything in that direction. Let's have a look in another direction. Fuel I leave there for now. I don't need fuel yet. Okay, more of the nasties that will spit poisonous gas at us. So, I won't go that direction just yet. Let's go this way. Oh, there we go. More aluminium. Or latter, right? Right, now I know I've got one on the ground. I can pick that up. So, let's pick it. Pick it up, and what I'll do is I'll place it over there. Pick this one up, place that over there, and I'll come back for them. Okay. Hopefully I'm going to use this power up anyway, so let's... Oh, there's the timer. Never mind. Let's ignore it for now. Right, let's fill this hole. 
use up the power and that way it will free up an extra slot in my backpack. Oh well, it must be daytime because my power is just not draining. Amazing. Right, okay, so... Oh, I've got one free slot. So what I can do, pick one up and slot it in. There we go. Right, so I can carry the other one back with me. So let's do that. Oh, mind you, I'm out of time. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.